The next retopology tool that we want to look at is the quads tool. It relies on the user having at least one polygon or at least one edge from which it can extrude from because when you boil it all down, that's really all it is. It's an extrusion tool or it's a tool that you might use for strip modeling if that's what you prefer. So allow me to go ahead and demonstrate here. When you hover over an edge, you'll notice that 3D Coat highlights it. That means once you click, 3D Coat has you set to extrude from that edge. You can see a white highlight and you can see the points that are snapped here. I'm going to hit escape to drop this preview or basically to make the tool inactive. It's still chosen, so let me go here to the toolbar and you'll see this edge extrusion method. You have a toggle here that opens up four different methods for creating extrusions. The default is the two click method and this is probably the one you want to use if you want a certain level of precision as you are generating your polygons. So let me click on my first edge okay and once I am working or as I'm extruding I no longer have to click the individual edges I just need to click to place the extruded edge and that's it. So as the name implies I only have to make two clicks. I click once click twice and now I've created a polygon so again once twice and I can just keep working this way I don't have to select that edge each time okay and I'll do it once more here so that's a nice way to work but the other three methods allow you to do this with just one click and when you click on your initial edge you'll notice as you drag along when you come up against another vertice 3D Coat will try to snap that third point to that vertice. Once it does it's kind of glued there if you will right and that means you can move your cursor around and place that last or that fourth point wherever you like and if you want you can create a triangle too if you like so let's move it and click and I've created a triangle which I don't want but you can so this is a very fast way of working just a single click okay so to some extent this is very much like poly strip painting except you're able to place the edges exactly where you want them whereas with a lot of poly strip tools the application is kind of having to place them for you now you can probably set how many you want to distribute along a given path and so on but um, in this case again click your first edge click 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 it's just that fast okay let's look at the snap force here and by default the value is 45 so that's kind of a medium level and the snap force allows you a little more flexibility to move your cursor around and place that third or fourth point. Okay, so it's snapping here, but if I move my cursor away, 3D Coat is assuming I do not want to snap or weld these as I create a polygon. Okay, so I could completely skip that. Let me go back a few times by undoing. Let's turn the snap force down to, let's try two. And so now it's very easy to pull off. In other words, 3D, that point isn't snapping very hard or it's not glued very tightly. So it's coming off and I probably don't want to work this way. It's very, very difficult to make these two edges here snap. Okay, so sometimes you may want a lower amount because it's snapping too much, but I find the higher the value, probably the better this tool works. So let's bring that up. Again, let's go above 70 or so. And again, if I want to move this, 
I've got a lot more flexibility to create an acute or an obtuse angle. Okay, so, yeah. Before it unsnaps that third point. So I'll hit escape and undo a few times. So direct, let me start out here. I'll click and direct, you'll notice the angle of the edge faces the direction of the vector from your highlighted edge. So as you move, uh, let's say at a, at a 45 degree angle, you notice how that edge is facing that direction. And so as you're creating and this tool is active, you can see the little preview, 3D Coat is going to switch to the edge that you hover over and begin to create. So if I don't want to start here, maybe I want to start above, I just need to hover over that edge. Again, it's snapped and I can just continue working. I don't have to click or anything. Okay. However, what if I wanted to work over here? Now all of a sudden 3D Coat is a little bit confused. So I need to hit Escape to drop the tool temporarily and resume working over here. So as long as it's along the same polygon, so again I'll start here and along adjacent edges it'll be okay but once I get outside of that adjacent edge then all of a sudden 3D Coat gets confused and I need to hit escape if I want to start elsewhere so again I'll just click here and again with that snapping okay as long as I'm going up against some other geometry as I'm extruding then it really is the same tool effectively as trapezoid and parallel where they are most unique is when you are extruding along the surface freely and not up against other geometry escape parallel you'll notice that the edge angle is always parallel to the edge you currently have selected okay so you can go here once more if you're going alongside an adjacent edge that snapping makes this tool work almost identical to the way it works with the direct method or trapezoid so I'll hit escape and let's look at the trapezoid. It's somewhat similar to the direct method in the sense that the edge angle does face in the direction that you're moving, but it tends to rotate more the further you get to one side or the other. This makes it an ideal option for going around corners or around curved surfaces. It's a little bit tricky. Let me turn my snapping down a bit. So I also want to point out that if you need, you can delete edges as well, just like you could with the add and split tool. So when you hover over an edge, if you want to quickly remove your polygons that way, you can just hit the delete key when it's highlighted. Okay. I'm not doing that here. You can also use this tool while you're hovering over an edge when it's highlighted just like with the add and split tool you can right click and drag to move an edge now you don't have the option for moving vertices but you can move an edge because again this tool is almost completely based on edges so that's a quick look at the quads tool in 3d coat thank you for watching we'll see you next video